Hello everyone and welcome back to Jacket Educational Channel. So this is the series in which we are discussing about the expected and important MCQs related to environmental science net paper. So this is the 38th part of the unit 8 we are dealing with the environmental management assessment and legislation. So those who haven't checked the previous lessons, you can check the link given in the description below. So I will start this video. So I would like to request you all to take the notebook and pen and paper so that you will be able to write all the important notes and the questions answer because it will be very helpful for you when you are going to attend for the examination. So first question which we are going to deal is very easy yet very basic. The question is which type of projects usually require an environmental impact assessment. So I will wait for certain seconds and then I will tell you the correct answer. So here the correct option will be option number 2. Yes, mining and mineral development projects usually require EIA. Let's move to the next question. The next question is articles 21, 48A and 51A which aim to protect and improve the environment and safeguard the forest and wildlife incorporate which of the following principles of the environmental law. So, a very important question. Hai. Try to analyze the question. So here the correct option will be option number 2. So these are following the principles from precautionary principle. Yes, the polluter pays principle and precautionary principle are very very important as per the EIA is concerned. So I will upload the PDF of these two principles which will be easier for you to understand in our telegram group. So let's move to the next question. The next question is which is the correct classification? of the forest under the Indian Forest Act of 1927. So as I have said from the question also you can get the tips because Indian Forest Act was enacted in the year 1927 you should note it down. And here the correct option will be option number 2. Yes as per the Indian Forest Act 1927 the forest were classified into protective forest, reserve forest and village forest. So this is very important. Hai. Bahut bar net ke paper mein dekha gaya hai. Next is the match the following in which list 1 is having EIA methods and list 2 is having the feature. So you have to correctly match with one by one. So here the correct code will be which will be in the option number 4. Yes, the overlay method is having the feature of composite impact by superimposing maps. So it can be from the remote sensing and GIS. Next is the network. So this network method in EIA you will be matching with the environmental system as a complex web. So network means that will be web structure. Next is battle columbus. It will be matching with the number one that is it is kind of environmental evaluation system. And finally simulation modeling will match with adaptive environmental assessment. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the very frequently asked question in the net paper. The question is the baseline studies in the EIA pertains to what? And here the correct option will be option number C. It is pertaining to the existing environmental setting of the proposed developmental area. So the developmental area where we have to going to take the EIA, there the existing factors, the existing environmental setting is known as the baseline study. Let's move to the next question. The next question is in EIA, the multi-attribute utility theory is used to describe what? And here, the correct option will be option number 1. Yes, the multi-attribute utility theory describes the identification of the alternatives to be evaluated and structuring of the environmental parameters. So these questions are taken from the previous questions of net environmental science. So around 5 to 7 years previous years paper are taken for this video. Let's move to the next question. The next question is environmental relief fund was established under which of the following provisions? And here the correct option will be option number 3. It was established under the Public Liability Insurance Act of 1991. Next question is also a match the following because match the following is the type of question which is usually asked from the unit 8 of this net environmental science paper. So 
so here the correct option will be option number two so here in the match the following the left hand side was given about the audit and types and next the right hand side was given the setup terms so implementation audit jo hai, wo kya karta hai? it covers a startup then performance audit covers full operation project impact audit will match with the comparing actual with the predicted impact so here impact is given so it will be matching with the impact next is procedures or the audit which will match with the number one that is external review of the procedure used is used in the procedures audit type let's move to the next question the next question is the effluent and emission standards for the industries have been notified under which of the following acts of india so here the correct option will be option number one they are notified under the environmental protection act of 1986 Chalte question the next question is again match the following and you have to match with the protocols or acts given with the concerned subject and here the correct option will be option number three yes the nagoya protocol is related to the biodiversity protection of biodiversity Next is the Air Prevention, Pollution and Control Act 1981 will match with number 3 that is related to the noise pollution. Next is Indian Patent Act. So it is it will be new for many of the students. You should note it down. Indian Patent Act jo hai 1970 mein hua tha. And this will match with number 1 related to the subject of intellectual property rights. And finally, Environmental Protection Act will match with the Environmental Audit. So I hope you are clear. Try to note it down. चलते हैं हमारे अगले क्वेश्चन की तरफ फिर से आ गया है हमारा मैच द फॉलोइंग सो हियर वी हैव टू मैच द स्टेप्स इन ईआईए अलोंग विद द करेक्ट डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर 3 यस द इंपैक्ट प्रेडिक्शन इन ईआईए इज टू डिस्क्राइब द रिवर्सिबल एंड इररिवर्सिबल इंपैक्ट्स ऑफ दैट प्रोजेक्ट नेक्स्ट इज baseline data collection that will match with the environmental status of an area next is decision making step in eia will match with the number three that is impact assessment authority it will be done by them next is risk assessment is done to know the hazard probability in that area the next question is very easy yet very critical the question is what are the main objectives of wildlife protection act of 1972 so here three options are given you have to think which will be the correct or which combinations of the options will be correct and here all these three are the objectives of wildlife protection act 1972 so, first is restricting the hunting killing or over exploitation of the species that is number one number two is protection of wildlife preservation of natural habitats and environment so these two are very related to this term wildlife itself but number three was confusing because recognizing the right of the people to a healthy environment is also under the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Let's move on to the next question. And the next match the following is very interesting and it is also taken from the previous year's net paper. So in list one, we are having the EIA methods and in list two, the name of the persons who have developed this are given. So we have to correctly match with the EIA methods. So think about it correctly and here the correct option will be option number three interaction matrix is developed by lb leopold which we call as leopold matrix environmental evaluation system is developed by battle columbus yes some of you will be amazed that battle columbus is actually the name of the developer next will be network method so this network method is developed by j Sorenson and descriptive checklist method of EIA is developed by D. Karsten. So remember this name because this is also asked in net environmental science paper. Coming to the next question, the question is eco-sensitive zones are declared by the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change under the Government of India under which of the following provisions? So you have to identify which of the following provisions is correct. So here, the correct option will be option number three. Under the Environmental Protection Act of 1986, these eco-sensitive zones are declared by the MOEFCC of Government of India. 
चलते हैं हमारे अगले क्वेश्चन की तरफ सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज बिट एनालिटिकल एंड द क्वेश्चन इज एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इंप्लीमेंटिंग एन ई एम एस दैट इज एनवायरमेंटल मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम अंडर द आई एस ओ वन फोर डबल जीरो वन शुड सेट एनवायरमेंटल टारगेट्स इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव द एनवायरमेंटल ऑब्जेक्टिव विद इन ए स्पेसिफाइड टाइम फ्रेम सो द टारगेट शुड बी वट काइंड ऑफ एंड हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी ऑप्शन नंबर फोर द टारगेट शुड बी मेजरेबल एंड स्पेसिफिक Time for the next question. The next question is ISO one four double zero one requires an organization to do what? And here the correct option will be option number three. The ISO one four double zero one requires an organization to define the scope of its environmental management system. So this ISO are very important for the NET exam. And if you want to know about the important ISO, how to remember them, the trick. The link is given in the description. You can watch the video to know all the ISO which are important. Time for the next question. The next question is cost benefit analysis is performed during which of the following stages? So think about it correctly. And here the correct option will be option number 2. It is performed during the feasibility study phase. So it is important try to note it down. Time for the next question. The next question is the formal EIA that is Environmental Impact Assessment became an integral part of the environmental management in India by a notification for the first time in which of the following year. So this came in the December 2015 NET paper. And here the correct option will be option number D that became the integral part of environmental management in the year 1994 that formal EIA. Time for the next question. The next question is, EIA is necessary because these three options are given, and you have to think which options are correct or which combination of option is correct for this question. And here, the correct option will be option number two and three both because EIA is necessary to develop the growing interest in sustainability, and to environmental impacts of development are in public interest. That's why we have to conduct EIA. So if you are doing any project related to the development, then it will be related to the interest of the public. That's why EIA is necessary. But here this option is telling development is not good for environment will be wrong option. Time for the next question. The next question is in which EIA guidelines notification? Developmental projects were categorized as A and B. Yes, it is very beautiful question. You know that category B two projects are exempted from the EIA, but when these projects were categorized as category A and category B. So the correct option will be option number C. According to the EIA guidelines notification of two thousand six, the projects were divided into different categories like category A and category B. So I hope you have learned something new and you have enjoyed this video. So if you like this give a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe the channel to get further notification. And yes you can join our Telegram and Instagram group to get further updates and more information about net environmental science. See you guys in our next video.